So what are acupuncture points? Like what are the physical points themselves? So it does range from sizes between sort of one millimeter to twenty-five <coughs> millimeter, as you can see, it's quite a big gap in between. It actually can be located by the differences in the electroconductivity from the surrounding tissue. So when they actually measure that so-called acupuncture point, they found that the electrical potential is actually lower, so it's actually a physical point, not a random place on the body. Uh, and, and they can see that like, in biochemical terms, in terms of uh, the electric potential, where, where they measure it. And it may be sensitive on palpation if there's an imbalance of T. A more classic one of this would be trigger points. Um, you may have heard of trigger points. Trigger points are the bits on your shoulder. When somebody presses it, you go, oh, that's painful, but press with a certain pressure, you go, ah, oh, that's nice. Do it again. That's nice. Trigger points only develop in humans after the age of 12. Before that, no such thing. So after the age of 12, it's due, usually due to posture. What we do, how we work, we hold our neck, we hold our carriage um, unnaturally, whether it's looking at the phone or looking at the signs or driving or sitting in a chair. And over time, that muscle gets strained and that's where all those little so-called trigger points appear. And it can certainly be very sensitive when you touch it. So, acupuncture points is also classical acupuncture the uh, theory. Um, recognizes about 365 points okay, on the surface meridians. In reality, there is probably going to be more than 2,000. <coughs> Practically, we usually use about 150. For me, I usually use about 90, so to speak, for the conditions that I treat. So, that's, um, you know, so they all exist over there. So just to put it into anatomy, it's usually in a relation to the place. So it's not exactly two centimeters from your wrist. It just depends how long, how long your arm is, because different people have different issues. So it's usually a proportion, a third down your arm or something like that. So for this case, uh, in this case we've got our little picture of a dog and everything is marked in grey, is bits of bone that you can feel just under the skin. So that's how we get our anatomy points, by feeling where the landmarks are on the animal and translating from example, the sort of a stomach seven, we just at a tip of a zygomatic arch. So that's how we find the acupuncture points, uh, because we are, we're simply not measuring the electrical potential. So we only want for every single point, and uh, yeah, so that's how we sort of locate that. So the anatomy itself, so this experiment was very, very interesting, and same again, not in the Western world, whereby they found the acupuncture point using the neural potential, so they find it okay. So the Chinese have said this is the acupuncture point, they measure, and this is the, uh, and this is in a cow, okay, so this is in a cow. And they also measured that electrical potential, it corresponds with what the Chinese doctor has said the acupuncture point to be, you said okay. So they stick a needle inside there, they inject some dye, then after that, they um, cow the cow, so to speak, okay, and they did a dissection. What exactly did they inject into? What is underneath that skin surface? And they found that pretty much 80% of them are, oops, are all wrapped up in new, neurovascular bundles and wrapped by loose connective tissue, often type 2 or type 3 nerve fibers. And usually it's this triad over there. So there's an artery, a vein, and a nerve, and all those little points. So that was how they found out what is the acupuncture point. And this is the bit whereby it's a little bit more interesting because you can see that along the body, we talk about different bladder points, okay? And they found that there is actually a connection. So this acupuncture point over here would correspond to or, or connect to this acupuncture point before going into the system. That is how treating a skin or acupuncture point far away from your interested organ works. Because it's like, okay, if I stick something on your leg and say that that is good for your liver, how does that work? It's like, uh, you're, not, you're nowhere close to your liver, what, what they're talking about. So they found that there are different nerves that connect the skin surface back to all your major organs. And this is a quite interesting study done in 98, as you can see. And uh, they used pseudo rabies virus, <coughs> and they mapped the acupuncture pathway. So what they did with this was, this was in the rabbit. So as we know, uh, or auricular acupuncture points are quite prevalent, ear acupuncture points. Okay, so there's a lot of part of your earlobe that is actually connected to pretty much major, every sort of major organ in your body. 
And so what they found was they found the kidney acupuncture point, the yellow, and they located the point over there, and they injected a retrovirus, uh, a pseudo rabies virus. And after that, what they found was that when they culled the rabbit, unfortunately, they could map that retrovirus that only um, only only sort of uh, only goes along the nerve, or, or, or only moves along the nerves, all the way from the ear down to the kidney without affecting any other part of the body. So they could actually trace a pathway from the ear straight to the kidney, without any, uh, without sort of affecting the rest. Talking about the kidney points and things like that. 